guys? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Robo Coaster Tycoon. Uh, we are going to get started here on Evergreen Gardens. Uh, just a refresher from last time. Our objective on this park is to convert the beautiful Evergreen Gardens into a thriving theme park. And we need to have at least a thousand guests in our park by the end of year four or October year four with a park rating of at least 600. So let us get rolling here. Um, first off, I just would like to mention that I can't hear pretty much anything right now. Um, <laughs> so the, the microphone I, I typically use, um, actually, hold on, let me find this one guest real quick. Uh, the microphone I typically use, or I have used and plan on continuing to use since the very first episode, um, is, it's a really nice microphone. Um, I really like it. However, um, I'm having an issue, and it, it has a, a feedback. Uh, it has feedback capabilities, so I can plug my uh, headset directly into, or my headphones directly into my microphone, and get live feedback as I am uh, recording of what I sound like. However, uh, there's this thing called latency. If any of you guys are familiar with, basically, it's the the lag time between when I speak and when the computer can process it, and when I hear. Um, or at least that's the audio latency, uh, the lag time between when I speak and when I hear the audio that I'm speaking. Um, the more things you add between the input of the vocal and the output into the headphones, the longer it's going to take um, and the more latency there's going to be. So since I'm recording my audio, both with my game capture software and, um, and my... Um, my audio capture, I'm using Audacity for that, uh, it's re being recorded by two separate programs, and so the latency is awful. So I, I don't use that feedback. So I don't hear myself in my headphones because it's just, I hear myself like half a second later and it just absolutely drive me, drives me nuts. So I don't do that. Um, I'll come back and rename that here in a sec. Um, but yeah, so as of yesterday i believe it was and this is after i recorded the episode from yesterday um i got new uh earbud or not earbud um i wear bose ae2s they are around ear headphones uh, and the little ear pads the cushions that rest against your head uh, those were starting to disintegrate and if i can uh, get a good photo i'll put it on screen for you guys just so you can see what i've been dealing with um, and they're comfy and they're fine, but they were slowly starting to disintegrate. And so every time I'd wear them, I'd get black flecks stuck to my face uh, and they'd fall off on my lap and onto my laptop. And it was just kind of kind of annoying. Um, so uh, yesterday I got new ones and the, the sound isolation is much better. Um, I didn't realize the disintegrating nature of my old ones was that different. So now that my audio is much more isolated, it's much more difficult for me to hear myself talking. So um, it is a pro and a con, but one I will get used to. So if I'm yelling, I'm going to, you guys won't tell, I'll edit it in post, but yeah, so that's, that's what I'm going through. <laughs> um, yeah. So back to, back to the park here. I just closed that through the, dang it. <laughs> Uh, we're not making that free. We'll make that a dollar. Okay, we've already spent $1,300 on just this stuff. That's crazy. Um, okay, we need a name for this thing. Enough about my life. I know you guys are here for the game and not my, my life. Um, okay, so again, we're going to stick with our egg theme. Um, what's another good egg? We're going to do egg salad. <laughs> It's not breakfasty, but egg salad, it's egg related. And, you know, this park is very, very naturey. I just realized we didn't build a restroom. Let's fix that. And we'll put that right here. Looks good. Sorry, I had an itch on my nose. Um, so yeah, you guys can see I've, I cut off my park. So it's very small to begin with. Um, I'm going to expand fairly quickly. Um, but just to start off so I can talk and not worry about my guests going everywhere. Um, and in this park, I am going to have, uh, footpaths on 
all of my handymen. Um, at least that's my goal. So I'll have this one guy cover this entire initial section. They're all going to be covering a fairly large amount of space to begin with. Because, actually, no. We're going to split this up into two. Yeah, that's good. For handyman one, and we'll hire another one. Uh, it's very important on this park to leave water gardens checked on every handyman. Because half this park has live flowers in them. Um, so, there we go. And we'll hire a mechanic for this. Sweet. And we don't need any security or anyone quite yet. But, that reminds me, security prevents stuff from breaking. Let's give them some stuff to break. Let's do a couple benches here and there. I'll worry about light posts later. I say worry about them like they actually matter. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I'm, I'm really excited for this park. Um... It's been a long time since I played this, just like all the other parks I've played, I guess. Uh, but this one is a lot of fun to do, and just we have so much room to work with. It is insane. Um, and I'm excited for some of the coasters I can build. Um, speaking of that, let's make sure we... Okay, awesome. We already have maximum funding. Um, and I am going to leave everything checked currently because I do... I think I want to do... One of the theming packs you can get, you can get like mining theming objects. Um, we got that Egyptian like desert style one that we used in, what was it? Dynamite, Dynamite Dunes? Yeah. Um, we'll build a haunted house. Uh, and on this one, I'm wanting to do, I think, uh, one of the ones you can get is Egyptian. Not Egyptian. I already said that. Um, we're going to lower this down a little bit here. Uh, Roman. Roman theming objects. So I'm going to try to unlock that. And once I do, then I think I'll cut off funding for all of that. But So yeah, this park is definitely interesting in the fact that you just have so much land to contend with. Um, the pathways are going to get kind of crazy uh, by the end of all this. So, all right, what's in our way there? That. There we go. Guests are commenting that we can raise our park because it's currently, we don't have anything for them to spend their money on. So, we have received an award for being the most disappointing park in the country. Is that really what that just said? The most disappointing park in the country. That is hilarious. I don't think I've ever seen that. That's really funny. Um, What shall we name this? House of Horrors. Some of my some of my rides, like uh, my scrambled eggs and my haunted houses, my merry-go-rounds, some of them, I'm going to attempt to give them a new name every time, but I'm not going to get as creative with them as I am with my coasters. So, well, we can actually charge $2. We'll do $2 on this thing because we need to make money as quick as we can here. Um, and I'm already getting sick of this silence. It it drives me nuts. We're just starting to pick up some chatter from our 80 guests. But, oh man, I'm already like running out of places to put stuff. Uh, can we put another basic one over here? Would that work? Yeah, it will. Okay, so we're going to lower this back down as well. Is that right in the corner? We'll do this one right in the corner as well. And we're going to have to delete a couple trees, but that's okay. We'll get rid of that one. We'll split the split the difference there. Uh, yeah, again, always starting with the basic stuff. Um, I will try to build a coaster this episode just so we can have something that people can spend their money on. Uh, actually, we're going to do we're going to do green for this path or for this park. I think that will complement this park nicely. 
So we'll go uh, remedy that on our other ones. I know it's a waste of money, but again, beauty is riffing. Maybe not right in the beginning, so this probably shouldn't be a priority of mine. But I want it to look good for me and for you. So we're redoing all of our paths. That's happening. Okay. Um, I don't know. I'm planning on expanding out my park purely on a... Ah, that's better. Uh, purely on a as-needed basis. Uh, I don't really want to expand it just because... Well, if, if I need more space to build rides, obviously I'm going to expand it. Uh, and if I need more space to accommodate my guests because they'll complain if they're too packed in um you'll say that your guests are complaining that your park is too crowded dollar's fine for that um uh i'm trying to name this on the fly and that didn't work um i don't know Green shrub. Why not? <laughs> um, ba -ba <laughs> no, not the name. Let's paint it green. You can't have a green shrub that's red. That's not okay. Green and this is might look hideous, so please bear with me. What if we do that same color green? You can't really even tell that color green. Doesn't really show up too well. Well, I think that lime looked better against... It's like lime and red. I don't know if that's just the pixelation of this game, but that's... Okay, don't look at the bottom of that. There we go. All better. Look how good that looks now. <laughs> All right, we'll get another mechanic just for this area, for these two, and anything we build off of these two. Does that cover everything? Yes, it does. Okay, um, it is time to build something not so completely boring. Our guests are probably all thinking, I want to go on something more thrilling than whatever, or not. A decent amount of them are. So let's give them that. Uh, let's build... What all do we have? And this is definitely a park where we will be building some sort of transportation, because again, it is massive so we'll experiment with that um i don't know quite where it's all gonna go yet but i kind of need to figure that out soon as i'd like to budget the layout of that or i'm thinking right here would be a good place for a station just lower this land a little bit and have one make it go underground and pop back out over here and traverse off to the rest of the park so i'm thinking this hillside is a good spot I think this is the perfect spot for a ride. Let's do it. Um, we're not going to do a wooden coaster. We're going to do a steel mini because, again, it's cheaper than other types. It kind of just froze up there for a second. Okay. Here should be good. And we're not going to go crazy with this. Again, I know I say that often. Um, but I just want something short, sweet, simple. They don't really care too much, um, how long your ride is, especially in the beginning. If I can get something with decent thrill, um, we will be, we will be set for a little bit. Ooh, that's going to be kind of tight. Okay, we won't do that crazy. So. Oh man, everything's in my way. So, sorry, I totally got distracted by the trees. Um, you'll find that happens a lot when I build. Um, how's everyone doing? Uh, if you guys want to see anything special in this park, please let me know. Um, no one's really made any requests for rides they want me to attempt to mimic or uh oh beautiful we already got what i wanted off the bat 
And that's the only one we can get for this park. Okay, so they want us to do that anyway. Maybe that's why I had that in my head that I wanted to do that. Um, yeah, if you guys want to see anything special, uh, or not even special, if you guys want to see me attempt to build something you guys don't think I can build, or is that in my way? Or no, the ride I'm running into is in my way. How does that not work? Do I need to go out one further, probably? Yeah, I think so. Uh, but yeah, if you guys want me to, you know, send me photos uh, on Twitter of like a roller coaster or something that is at a theme park near you. And I will try to recreate it. Um, obviously not perfectly, uh, but with Roller Coaster Tycoon physics and logic and all that, I will do my best. So, ooh, this is looking nice. And that's at nine. Yeah, that'll work. I have I have a vision in mind. If you guys could only, I don't ever plan on 100% enlightening you as to my thought process as I build a ride. Uh, so if that's something you hope to have out of me, this is me apologizing in advance because I don't plan on doing that. Partially because, as I say almost every time, I rarely know what I'm going to be doing. Um, can I keep this within park boundaries? Oh, I can, and it's perfect. Um, we're going to try to make this... Nope. Back one. Oh, and this is where things might get ugly or difficult. Um, nope, this is where terraforming happens. Uh, so I'm going to transform this entire hill to be the same grade right here. So let me take that off real quick. That'll make my life a little easier. So this is all going to change. Let me start by lowering these. And it's coming out this piece right here, so I'm going to leave this part as the funky looking bit. If that makes sense. Um, we'll see what we can get away with first. Right now, this is all going to just get lowered. This piece that I'm touching right now might be an issue, but... And then we will flatten this out. And you can never have a piece that is partly underground and partly above ground. It, this game just doesn't work like that. Will that work? Nope. Okay, that's just going to look like that. Uh, and we will give it... I think wood for this park would be appropriate. Yeah, that's going to look good with this park. Okay. There is our first fairly simple, very small. Um, that's what these rides are kind of meant for, in my opinion. I might build one that's uh, quote-unquote epic one of these days. But to start with, they're very much starter coasters. Um, just because of how cheap they are. They are dirt cheap. So we're going to go ahead and give this thing a test while we build some footpaths. Not getting any fancy new ride music on this one guys sorry mostly because I'm trying to be efficient with my time here and just build and build and build as much as I can uh, is that gonna work is that my way all right okay so we've got two trains I'm hoping this has enough momentum to get over everything it should I tried to be conscious of that stuff when I built it whoa that's kind of trippy. You guys see that? This track just totally obscures the one behind it. <laughs> that is cool. I got so confused when it went over that and then just disappeared. Because it doesn't go into ground until right here. Which reminds me, I need to adjust that. Um, not with the footpath tool. Footpath tool. But with the land tool. So we'll just adjust the ones that matter. There we go. And this one technically too, I think, because on the other side it's, yeah. I like that wood. That looks that looks nice. Okay, let's see what we got. Beautiful, cheap ride that cost me. Uh, let's see if I can find out how much that cost me. 
Nope, I don't know when I started building it, so... March, April, and May. Guys, we already have our thrill rides, our basic stuff, or at least some of our basic stuff, our first coaster, and almost 150 guests in our park. So, and this is $5. I feel guilty charging people this much money, but when I'm letting them into my park for free, you know, they, they get to pay a premium. Um, so I'm thinking a lot of my... I want to keep most of my smaller stuff kind of inconspicuous. Um, so I'm going to make most of my small rides on this park kind of green, green, white, maybe some blues if they're closer to the water, just to kind of keep them blend in, keep them blended in with the scenery. Um, what are people saying about this? Oh, it's too expensive. Maybe I just don't have enough. Can I get away with 350? Maybe? Some people are freaking out at this, and this is only high intensity? 6.625? Um, one thing I don't know if I've covered yet, those that freak out, this guy in yellow, they actually have a specific tolerance, uh, where is it? Over here. A specific tolerance for intensity. So this guy will only go on anything between 2 and 5. Anything above 5, he will not go on it. Uh, some people are, uh, like, yeah, this guy will go on pretty much anything I build. Uh, between two and nine anything above nine is like your ultra extreme intensity and i think nine is the highest excitement or intensity that anyone will ever go on so if you build the ride with above nine intensity just demolish it no one's gonna go on it at all so okay what i was saying earlier is all of my basic stuff i want to kind of blend in uh we'll give this mechanic oh we've got a steel coaster too that is, if you guys remember from Leafy Lake, that is a moneymaker of a ride. So that is definitely going to be built very early on. If not in this episode, we still have a whole other month. Um, if you guys notice, I'm trying to do everything a little quicker this episode, just so we kind of get up and going quick. Uh, I know the startup of a park is not the most exciting thing in the world. Uh, so I'm trying to remedy that for you guys. So yeah, look at these Roman... Oh, that reminds me. Now we can do Roman-style entrances on everything, which I think is going to look pretty sweet, <laughs> especially in this park. I love the um, the station, or the entrance. I think it just looks so cool. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, change all those real quick before I forget. Wow, right as I changed that, the music died. Or not died, but cut out for a second. <laughs> I thought I screwed something up. I didn't, though. One uh, pet peeve of mine with this game is that the restroom looks so close to the original um, entrance style. I wish you could change the theme of your bathrooms. Uh, I don't know why I want to, but I want to. Does it cost me money to run my... It does. If I make it free, is there a running cost? Yeah, there is. It just didn't display money. Okay. Um, that's okay. Man, I keep not finishing my train of thought. Okay, so about painting my rides. I'm going to keep my basic ones the same, and I want my coasters to stick out like a sore thumb. Uh, we might do a couple that blend in. This might be one of them, because it is on the, the tamer side uh, compared to some other stuff. Is no one going on Haunted House? Is it too expensive? I swear we will paint this in a second. I just need to make sure I'm making money. Okay, so the whole free park, you can charge whatever the heck you want for rides. I could be mistaken. Uh, that might have just been on Leafy Lake because we already had a thriving park or there could be a threshold of park rating you need to allow that to happen. Uh, I don't know, but let's get this thing painted. Finally. Ooh. I like that purple. I really like that. Purple and white. What if we swap... What if we swap that? Would that look good? I kind of like that. If I can get a support that would white complement that, it does. And then we'll make our two different trains... 
purple and yellow. Yeah, I think that's kind of cool. We'll just do this all... Well, actually... White inside? That's good. That stands out a lot. And we'll just do the other kind of yellow, the goldish yellow, on this one. Also with white. Not a huge difference, but that's okay. Um, we're going to have this... Actually, on this park, we're going to do everything every 30 minutes. Um, and see if my theory about doing it every 10 minutes makes things break more often because that seems to be the case i've never had rides break down more often than they have since i've been doing the inspection every 10 minutes so we are going to leave if another station arrives i don't imagine that being an issue since this thing looks like it's going to be kind of popular yeah that's that's still weirding me out that that track just totally disappears it's there you can see but Okay, let's give this thing a name. Um, I got it. Yellow Belly. Yellow Belly is... I don't know where that, where that name comes from. It's something you call someone when they're, when they're weak. When they're being a, a sissy about something. And they kind of back out. Um, you say they have a yellow belly. Or you call them a yellow belly. But I don't know where that saying originated from but anyway this is sort of a a tame disregard our stats here but in my opinion this is a tame coaster it's our first one it's it's short it's sweet it's to the point it's not even a minute long um but yeah this thing will make us some good money over time but yeah yellow belly i think it's a good name for it Okay, what else did I want to build? I think I want to build our basic uh, steel coaster, steel kind of shuttle loop design. Um, but I don't know how I want to make it different. I'm going to build this probably in almost every park. Not everyone, but a good amount of them. And it is my goal, just like my naming of the egg rides, to have a different name for each one. And I have an idea that I just thought of that would be kind of cool. It's just going to... St mm, I don't know if I'll be able to do it. It's happening. Okay, so this is me getting carried away with an idea. I see something and I do it. Um, okay, so we're building this, the station, and almost all of the entrance, or at least the walkway, is going to be entirely underground. So I want to make this one, two, three, four, five, six, I think should be able to give me a, um, what is it called? A full train. And then we're going to do a reverse incline on this one and have it pop out of the ground here. How cool is that? You guys can say not very, it won't hurt my feelings. Uh, we'll go up to 17 there. I think that looks pretty cool. Just poking out of the ground like that. And let's make sure to... Um, I'm going to be very frugal about money here. Actually, no. Speaking of which, I only have $800 to my name. That will wait for now. I uh, probably should have taken that into account before I decided to build this, but that's okay. Uh, so if I do the loop... Because I always want to do a loop. If I do a loop right here, does that center over the path? It totally does. Well, it's actually one, two, three four pieces in length but the loop kind of starts I guess it's not centered but oh well it's kind of impossible to center that and I actually kind of like this color scheme it gave us uh, I think that looks pretty neat ooh and we'll actually go man we're gonna have to take out another grand at least we'll do two just to be safe because I mean we're only incurring $16 of interest per month I want this to go underneath this ride. Uh, if I go... Actually, if I go down one more, I think that'll look better. Just with the land being totally flat there. And then this can actually come back up one. Nope, not that piece. Dang it. This piece. It's so annoying editing terrain like this when you can't really see it because it just does not want to cooperate. I could have just done that. I don't know what I was thinking, guys. 
Um, and then we're going to come back up on this side of the ride. Man, this is so expensive, all the terrain modifying I'm doing. And we started at 17, so we will make sure to end at least that high. How cool is that? Just that little dip right there and make them feel like they're about to fly off. I hope it'll work still. Um, we need an entrance, don't we? Yep. All right, we are in July. We need to wrap this thing up. The only downside of doing this underground is entrances are tall, very tall. Like that entrance is, what, at the back? Yeah, just because there's no room for it anywhere else. And the exit will be by the front, <laughs> completely backwards of what we should be doing, but that's okay. Oh, and then this is the, also a pain of doing this. Um, you can't really start a station. Actually, is that going to let me? It is. I didn't know you could do that. Cool. I was going to say this is going to be a pain because... Oh, we can't go outside of our park there. Uh, I want this to line up right across from that exit. So that's one, two, right here, I believe. And this is an excessively long line. I know that, but I'd rather have line that's too long than just unnecessary walkway that leads out just to this ride. So, oh, I'd never. I don't think I ever knew you could do that, guys. It's that's a nice realization I'm stumbling upon. Uh, we will do it right here because I'm already envisioning where we can put a information kiosk. Because if this connects all the way right there then that is a perfect spot for an information kiosk, which we will be doing. Uh, okay, let's set this to reverse incline mode. Give this baby a test. And we'll go to train one so we can actually see it. And how many how many cars is this? I think, oh, eight cars per train? That is a, that's massive. All right, let's see how this does. Not well at all. <laughs> I wonder if doing six cars would be any better. We'll try that. If not, we can always go up one higher. I don't know what, why it slowed down so much. Oh, I guess it's because it's only eight by the time the back gets, or since it had eight cars instead of six, by the time it got to the back, the bottom is only like one tile above. Yeah, okay, so. That's my bad. We will go up to there. And we'll set this back to 8 and give that a test again. It's always hard to judge speed on these things. And you saw just there, if you bring your view using this button right here to something that is underground, it will automatically take your view underground. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. That's probably not necessary, but it looks a little different. And I think it looks kind of cool. Ooh, and since these two are intersecting, maybe I'll make this one just the inverse colors of that other one or something like that. I don't know. I'll figure it out here shortly. Let's watch this one more time. This should easily have enough room to not kill anyone. Yep. All right. We are opening this baby. I actually didn't mean to have one piece of station right here. I wanted that to be a... Uh... You know what? No. We're going to go straight right there. I think that looks cooler having the cart just come straight out of the station. We have to test it again, of course, and we lose a car doing that, but that's okay. How many pieces of the station did I do again? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I can't count this underground. 
five, six, I think, right now. I want to just double check this that now that we have seven cars, the momentum's still fine, which it is. All right, and then we shall open this thing. Okay, we need to. Let's paint it. I don't. I want to make sure it looks good inside of this one. Um, the orange I do kind of like. If we make the supports white, it matches these, which I think looks nice. Uh, and then if I make this purple, no, that's ugly. What about doing? No, that would be the same. If I do purple here and then white here. They kind of complement each other, slash look the exact same, but that loop looks pretty ugly. I actually do kind of like that gray that they had, and then... It's kind of a darker purple. I kind of like that. Maybe we'll do gray supports as well, or even that same dark purple support. Yeah, there's our winner, guys. I like it. Okay. Do we have results yet? High, medium, low. Beautiful. Make me the money. What was that? 513. We'll charge. Let's we'll see if we can get away with $4 on this thing. Can we? Are people still going to get on? Nope. 350? Still no? Maybe it needs like a better reputation before. Okay, $3 should be okay. Yeah, people are going on it now. Okay, let's give this sucker a name. Uh, it's purple and white. Loops over the track. Or the, not the track, the walkway. <laughs> I don't know why this just popped in my head. The purple people eater. Because it's got one eye. Yeah? Maybe? Is that a stretch? Quite possibly. Let me just fix all this before I forget. Because I will. I don't care how expensive it is. How expensive it is. I want it to look good. And I'm going to do this, I think, pretty much everywhere in my park. So... I'm going to spend quite a bit of money on just adjusting that kind of stuff. But like I've said before, and I will probably continue to say, especially on this part, since it is very aesthetically oriented, looks are going to play a big role on this part. So, okay guys, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Um, we've got a decent part going after our first episode. It ran a little long, sorry for that. We have gone over by about a month, that's okay though. It's our first episode. I wanted to get a foothold. So when we come back, we actually have a park to work with. And not just... Um, I didn't paint this. And not just, you know, our basic rides and our thrill rides and all of that. So... Cool. That's good. Um, okay. So that's going to do it. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys next time. <laughs>